hi guys welcome to my channel man i woke up to some really really sad news today it's about the passing of pastor dari Uluada Milari Adeboye, the third son, I think one of the sons of Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye. Pastor E.A. Adeboye is the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Someone just sent it to me on WhatsApp and I was like, no, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought I was going to get another message and say it's fake news. I thought there was going to be a miracle. I, I was just expecting that I will hear a message or I will get a message and say it's a lie or it's not true or it can't be or something like that. And all day I've just been concerned about it. I think it happened on Wednesday night in Akwaibom Eket. And the thing is, they said he slept and then he didn't wake up and that people had been praying and all that, expecting a miracle. But I just thought to myself that why, why, why did this happen? Why do the righteous make a, an early exit in life? Why does this happen to good people? Why a pastor, Pastor Adeboyu, is served, you know, being the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God for as long as I can remember, as long as I've been a part of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And then only 42, prime of his life, just they say life begins at 40. So it now got me thinking that why does God allow things like this to happen? So my number one reason why I think God allows things like this to happen is to test the faith of the believer, to see how, if we say we're Christians and the Bible tells us to give thanks in all circumstances, in all situations, and that when the righteous die, it's not really death because in Christ there's no dying, it's really transition to so test the faith, maybe the faith of Pastor Adeboye, maybe the faith of the redeemed Christian Church of God, to see how he will handle the situation, handle such a trying situation, like nobody wants to bury their children, right? It's really, really sad, it's both God knows best and in all things I just keep encouraging myself that in all things God knows best God is still good God is able to do everything but he chose not to revive this guy for any reason I don't know why but that's one thing we'll find out when we see God face to face the number two reason why I think righteous people make an early exit is to save them from the wrath to come. Pastor Adeboye used to pray one prayer that as soon as he wants to get into sin, that God should take his life, right? When you see people that exit like that, maybe God knows that if they had lived longer, their life, their ending part would have been terrible. It would have, could have been disaster. It could have been falling into this to sin. It could have been, it could have backslidden or or whatever reason. Only God knows because we, as human beings, we only see in part. But God is the only one that sees the true picture and God is always consistent. God never changes. He knows the beginning from the end. So he might have been saving this guy from the rot to come. Number three reason why I think the righteous make an early exit is just the elements in the universe. There's, there's chemicals, there's toxins, there's the food we eat is not, it's not necessarily the best. You know, there are diseases everywhere. There's COVID. There, nobody's exempt from being sick. As children of God, sometimes we think that we can't get sick, but we, this body, the Bible says the body is dying daily, but the spirit doesn't die. The spirit lives on, but the body is decaying daily. As time goes on, as we're exposed to the elements, as we're exposed to different situations in the environment, toxins here and there, you know, those situations result in sicknesses in the body. The body is perishing daily. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. You know, because we're Christians, that doesn't mean we're exempt from sickness. God is able to heal our bodies. God is able to protect us, but the body is susceptible to sicknesses and diseases. That is why we need to eat well, exercise, stay healthy, check cholesterol level, check sugar level and everything. And, and that's one thing we as Christians need to do better at. We don't check up. And then with the COVID, it's been difficult for a lot of people to do their annual physical. Some people would have traveled to get their checkup. Some people would have done one checkup or the other, but because of the pandemic, nobody has really been able to check. Even me myself, I haven't been able to go to my, all the visits I would have liked to go to because of the pandemic. It's just been like, everybody's just trying to stay in their houses and stay safe. 
but then it's always a good thing to eat healthy to exercise to monitor your health right so that at least we can preserve the body and spend more time with our loved ones but i just pray that god will give them the fortitude to bear the loss i pray that god will continue to bless the redeemed christian church of god i pray that god will continue to bless pastor adeboye because i know he's a man of faith and i know that he knows that god is the same yesterday today and forever god never fails god never changes god will still be god no matter what happens but we we don't mourn the way the the young believers mourn we don't because our hope is in christ we know that this is really really a temporary place nobody's going to live forever some people make an early exit because maybe god wants them in his kingdom god wants them with him god wants to save them from the wrath to come from covid and from all the evil things we're exposed to from the kidnappers from this from that from different kinds of sin that we're exposed to on, on a daily basis. So I just thank God for his life. I thank God that he was in Christ. I pray that God will continue to watch over his household and continue to bless the, the wife and children and God will give his aged parents the fortitude to be able to bear the loss. All right, guys, that's what I just wanted to share this evening. All right, thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye.